You're about to enjoy a story that has been told for many years. The nativity was a big turning point in our lives. A long time ago, when we most needed him, God chose to send his only begotten son, Jesus, to be born on Christmas Day. Born among the forgotten, the overlooked, and the poorest. This is the beginning of how the story of God came to be with us by sending baby Jesus to grow and live among us, to leave an unforgettable history, to save us, to give us hope, restoration, and bring light to darkness. The story opens with a young woman in her home, Mary. She was from a town called Nazareth, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. Unless you look a bit deeper, there's nothing particularly remarkable about Mary, but to God, she was very important. So important that God sent an angel down, down from heaven with a message for her. Peace be to you, Mary. You are very special. God is with you. But Mary found it hard to understand why the angel had come to see her. She was just an ordinary woman. She worried what the angel meant by the greeting. Seeing she was scared, the angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. People will call him the Son of the Most High. I don't understand. I am not yet married. I am a virgin. What kind of a baby? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and its power will give you a baby. People will call him the Son of God. I am a servant of God. I believe The angel departed, leaving Mary excited about the news of the baby. And she told Joseph, the man she was about to marry, all about it. But the Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus, who ruled over the land, sent an order saying he wanted to count every single person in the country. So everyone, including Mary and Joseph, had to come back to their hometown to be registered. Joseph came from a faraway town called Bethlehem. Because Mary was engaged to be his wife, she went with him to Bethlehem. To save her aching legs, Mary rode on a donkey. During the journey, Mary was very nearly ready to give birth to her baby. Mary and Joseph were tired from traveling for many miles. They went from Nazareth in Galilee to Judea and then to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they knocked on every door in the town looking for a place to stay, but everywhere was full of people. Go. Go. Each time they were given the same answer. Lots of people had come down to be counted, so the whole town was full with no place left to stay. Mary and Joseph almost gave up, but then they tried the very last guest house. So Mary and Joseph went to stay in the stable. It was not a clean place to bring new life into the world, but Mary and Joseph made the best of it. When the baby came, they wrapped little Jesus in the clothes they had. They didn't have anything to put him in, so they placed the Son of God in a manger, a trough that is used to feed animals. 
As Mary looked at the sleeping baby in the manger, she knew that he was a precious gift. After all, the angels did say that Jesus would be called the Son of the Most High. Meanwhile, in some fields nearby, a group of shepherds were keeping watch over their sheep. It was night, and they were surprised to see an angel of the Lord appear in front of them. The glory of God shone all around the shepherds, and they were terrified. These shepherds were just regular people going about their daily lives. Nobody took much notice of them, so they were surprised when the angel spoke to them. Well, if this wasn't enough for the humble shepherd to take in, the angel was soon joined by a huge group of angels called the heavenly host. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joy. angels left and went up to heaven. The shepherds wondered what they should do next. What shall we do? Let's go to Bethlehem. Yes, so we can see what the Lord has told us. So they went off to seek Mary, Joseph, and the baby at the stable, and went in to see the baby in the manger. When they had seen him, the shepherds told everyone they met about the child. People were amazed to hear the story. The angels said it was good news for people across the world. And there's something about this birth that is good news. It offers hope. Hope to everyone in the world that they are accepted and can come to him, whether rich or poor, important or forgotten. Stop it. 
Sometime later, more people came to visit. These three important people were called the three wise men. They were very smart and knew all the secrets of the stars. They knew from studying the heavens that an important event was taking place. A bright star rose in the sky, and they followed it to worship the person whose birth it foretold. They knew that the star heralded the king of the Jews. The wise men saw the child, and they worshipped him. Each of them brought a special gift to give to the baby Jesus. Because you are the king of kings, I give you gold. Because you are the son of God, I give you praise. The shepherds and wise men glorified and praised God for the things they had heard and seen. Their lives were changed forever. They wanted to express the joy they had found and change the world around them. And what better way to celebrate the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day than by remembering how great our Lord and Savior are. The nativity was when Jesus was born. It was only the beginning of all the changes to come and how our lives transformed to live a beautiful Christian life. Just say.